Now to an age-old question. Do you need a college degree to land a high-paying job? It appears that some companies are now hiring applicants who don't have a degree. It's leaving many to wonder, is a degree really necessary? NBC News senior business correspondent Stephanie Rule has been speaking with workers who managed to find success without attending college. Stephanie, good morning. Morning, Joe. Deciding to go to college is likely going to be the biggest investment you make in yourself or your children. And you know that conventional wisdom has always been a four-year degree will lead to a more successful career. But that may be changing as more and more employers are starting to focus on skills, not just education. Watch this. 30-year-old Ali Alcala has it all. An apartment in New York City, a thriving career in HR at J.P. Morgan Chase, and more than $70,000 a year in income. What she doesn't have is a college degree. Did you assume that investment banks were only for college grads, even Ivy League school grads? I had no notion that you would be able to even get a foot in the door without a degree. The Global Bank is actively recruiting people without college degrees through programs that pay them to train in careers like operations and consumer banking. I didn't have a degree. My future was extremely uncertain. And the program kind of provided a way, a clear way, where I would be able to pursue a career path or journey. I only went to college because my parents made me go to college. Mark Benioff is the founder and CEO of Salesforce. Everybody thinks that if you don't have a college degree, you can't be successful in the United States, and it's not true. The average cost of a four-year degree has risen to more than $10,000 a year for a public university and 37000 for private, and more than half graduate with an average of $29,000 in student debt. Then is college even worth it? It's expensive. You can create incredible value for the world without a college degree. I came to this country with a lot of aspirations. After immigrating from Colombia, Juan Medina worked several jobs, including construction and car sales. College was out of the question. If I went part-time, it was going to take me like eight years to, to finish college and possibly some of that. A much better alternative for Juan and his growing family? Free online training with Salesforce that led not only to a job. Now I feel like I have a career. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities out there. More major corporations are abandoning the requirement of a four-year degree. At Apple, half of their employees don't have college degrees. But this path is untested. Many jobs still require a bachelor's degree. And on average, a college graduate makes 67 percent more than a high school graduate. But as the cost of college rises, some say the returns aren't keeping pace. The idea that to make a lot of money, you need to go to college, that's a, that's a thing of the past. To make a lot of money, you just need to get the skills. You don't need to go to college. You can do it all online. Ali Alcala sees only one reason why she'd pursue a diploma now. Just to have it framed. To have it framed, Joe, Savannah, you know there has always been this stigma attached to not going to college, but that could perhaps be changing. Not that it's not great to get a higher education, more learning is always better, but given the amount of time and money it costs, it's just not an option for a lot of Americans. So, Stephanie, do you think more big companies are going to follow this trend of hiring non-college graduates, or is it too early to say for sure? Without a doubt, we are seeing all sorts of companies change their job requirements, their educational requirements, depending on what specific role it is. And with more and more online training courses that are free, lots of companies you saw they're offering themselves, whether it's Google, IBM, or Salesforce. Employers realized even before the pandemic, we had a very tight job market. It's tight again. And we had a skills gap. So more companies and programs are saying, why don't we offer these skills to more people? And it's potentially going to bring us more potential employees and, as they focus on equity, a more diverse workforce. Interesting story. Stephanie, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.